Here we go. Yeah, this. Well, it's gonna be wild. Okay. Hey, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I'll do upper sector seven just because it looks like there's people fighting right now. Demon hunter and Krovax. All right, they're in opposite houses, though, so I don't know. All right, let's go actually here. Nope, come on now. I can actually, there we are. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, uh, and also, unfortunately, that isn't what she said, but that's a different story for another day. Looks like Madeline yep, and Myth. See if they get into. Oh, dang! And I was just there too. <laughs> I know I was just there, and I switched over. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna stick. All right, I'm gonna stick on Myth. And who else is over here? And Madeline. Yes. Let's see if they. Connect. Let's go. Man, you know Yanvan is out for blood. He wants to qualify with his warrior. Oh, Demon Hunter was a machinist. Let's go. Nice. Oh, machine is nice. Very cool. I'll see. Yeah, unfortunately. All right, a little monk action. That's my uh, it's my class. Love it. Well, it looks like, as crazy as it might sound, a little bit of a... Yeah, exactly. Alright, now I'm looking right now. Let's keep it going. There it is. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> what a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Got to keep on moving. Koala, you're muted. I was trying to help you out. Monsters. Oh, shoot, didn't notice that. Thank you. All right, so we have Scion here. Looks like uh, coming up against Myth. And E. Ooh, that was a quick laser in right there. Takes him out. And right now, I think that's... Yeah, everyone now is kind of evenly placed out. We might have something in the Mako reactor. I'll go check out that. Pink Teddy. 
Seems to like the uh, the Mako reactor. Uh, ooh, this might be some action here. See, we get 13 coming up onto 19 as well. Yes. Yep. At. Gwen and Almond, but Almond is uh, oh, taking a beat right now. I'm letting Gwen. Doing? Move on past. Doesn't want anything to do with that. Nope. And this early in the game, I hey, I know all about it. Looks like we're gonna have a little something coming right here. As what do we have? Uh, Nymeria, good old Sophie, Edu. Although again, there. A couple <laughs> of sorcerers here. If they get if they get into a fight, it's gonna be fun to watch. That looks like ooh, there's a quite a convergence at the edge of. Mako by uh, Sector 8 Annex. Right. Yeah, and you does end up getting... Oh no, I thought it was on Nymeria, but it was an MP. <laughs> There's an MP standing right, <laughs> right under Nymeria's uh, nameplate there. So over by uh, the S18 Annex, we got Madeline, Shiny, and Cody. Let's see if they engage at all. Shiny, oh, yep, Shiny and looks like Madeline, and Cody looks like he's going to try to third party. Shiny got Madeline in a gravity, gets the shots he needs for the kill as he arrows away. Let's see if uh, Shiny and now Cody get into a little skirmish as Scion looks like he's coming up a little bit from behind as well. Scion did take some shots at Shiny, who went up on top, but didn't quite hit them with that Wrath Revolver. So it looks like Cody has made his way out of Good. that little area. So it looks like a little bit more calm for the time being. Yenvon is getting taken down by Tetsu. Tries to get onto the bird. Can't quite get there on time as Tetsu rolls up behind. And I believe there was a fireball. And Yenvon may have tried to take Tetsu's bird. I didn't quite switch in time to see it. But Tetsu comes away with the kill onto Yenvon. Nice. And... It is Cloud. I wonder if anyone will take advantage of that Mimic Materia. I doubt anything right away, but maybe later. That one is on the board. The Zack one is not. Just want to make sure yes. make reference to that. As we see another three candidates getting real close to each other here. There we go. Yes, let's see. As I believe Tetsu Krovax just fireballed himself. That was fun to watch. Yep, Krovax is on Hot Pursuit of Legit. Let's see if... Uh, this goes anywhere. Krovax does hop off with that Wrath Revolver, but doesn't quite land any shots there. Does get, I mean, it did get a little bit of damage onto the bird, but legit is able to get up high and rotate away. And Krovax is deadly with that Wrath. I've been on the receiving end of that uh, far too often. As legit is still is still go. hanging out. Let's yep, go. they're not. Yep, and let's see if Krovax is go. gonna make a move. He's trying to bait him into something, it seems like. Let's see if it works. Krovax is still in hot pursuit. Tries to get a couple of more shots in with the Wrath, but legit is... Oh, let's he's go. looking to get upgraded. Let's see if he goes back. He doesn't. He's still moving his way. Ooh, Krovax looking to cut him off, though. Quest legit uses the teleport. Oh, nice Krovax move. missed it. Oh, nice. Krovax didn't get into it, but legit Let's went back go. down now. Yep. Uh, I don't know if they really want to actually fight. <laughs> I think they're just stalling out at this point. As we see, Cody gets in on Shiny, gets him down to one HP. If that Blizzard can hit, it's going to be a bad Ooh, time. Go. Shiny's trying to heal up, but there comes the dash from Cody. Wow, nice. Better Cody gets in that. close. That and Shiny is not able to set up as they have been doing on Machinists in those first three matches that we had in the other qualifier. But now Scion is moving in on to Cody here. We'll see if anything comes from this. There's a... Quite a lot of people coming on here. Yep, and Pink Teddy is making his way. Is he gonna... Is Pink Teddy... Oh, it looks like for a second he might want to engage with Cloud, but Cloud is still just hanging out by his lonesome as Pink Teddy and Scion look like they're gonna... Cross pass. And disperse? Yep. Yep. They There's a lot of cross and pass and dispersing so far. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What's this? Twa Tetsu? We 
see Cosmo has found Godges's bird up high. Let's take some sniper shots at it. Let's see if he can hit Godges now. Godges drops down. Does not want anything to do with that gunfight. There are a lot of people over here. What do we have here? We have Nymeria up high. Legit running around down low with Krovac still. Yep, they're still just running around each other. Nymeria is not having anything to do with this. Take some shot at Krovac's bird, but they are just rotating around again and still just chasing each other. Uh, I'm not sure if they're aware, but the uh, Chocobo race was uh, earlier in the day. <laughs> that it was. <laughs> As Nymeria has now found somebody. That is Edu. So we do get to see the Sorcerer duel now. See some fireballs going out in the bio. Nymeria is focusing Edu's bird, making sure that there's no rotation back from that. Not sure it got the finish, but Edu is going to rotate back in. Take some shots in return. We see the C mod going up I against. Don't. I don't see what Edu has. Edu is able to get some shots, but now Provax has come up behind and taken out Nymeria's bird. Ooh. He's going to follow down now, has the high ground on the bird of their own, and Nymeria does not know where to go. Krovax is going to hop out, but now Edu's taking some shots. Throws out a bio. Mm -hmm. That way they can't get in close, but again, everybody just kind of dispersed. Edu does still have the angle up high on Nymeria if the shots are there. Throws down the blind to keep rotating. I'm sorry, that's Tetsu now. Tetsu's over here yeah. now, too, as well. Let's see, uh, As Nymeria is taking some shots. From where? I wow. believe up high somewhere, right above us, I think. Good. Krovax might have cut her off, but doesn't seem to want to engage again. So, looks like Sophie's able, going to be able to heal up. Ooh, Almond and Tetsu now. Tetsu's coming up right behind Almond. Not quite going to get the shots lined up, though. Oof. I thought for a second Tetsu might have had a little trouble with the Mako, but looks like he is safe right now behind that wall. Ooh, Pink Teddy and Gwen, are they going at it? Let's go check that out. They are close. There is a Thunder going down. Tetsu takes one tick from it, is able to rotate out of it, though. And it now looks like Nymeria is going to rotate away from it now. And we have a little uh, battle with Legit and Pink Teddy. Let's see how this plays out. Legit gets his bird now we're talking. destroyed there, and he rushes away. Looks like Legit's going to find a place to try to heal up, which he does as Pink Teddy is in hot pursuit. Meanwhile, we have Edu in... in uh... Almond Walrus taking shots at each other. Oh, Almond puts out a very good water. Only hits with two of them, but the Thunder in return. Is it going to be enough to take down Almond as well? No, Almond is able to get the kill inside the Thunder as Legit Vocals gets wow. the dash kill there as well. Very clean plays from two warriors across the board here. Yeah, that was uh, the trademark uh, Legit move there where he was just getting enough dashes and not finishing the combo so he could just kind of chain in uh those dash attacks and just got the best of teddy in that situation we kind of see the same thing from uh from all moon walrus here is able to do the same thing but into the thunder from edu edu immediately puts down the thunder but the poke damage was there from the water as they moved up into uh melee range and then almond just goes in and takes down and is able to rotate out of the thunder before anything bad happens gets the kill and then Legit Vocals just doing the same thing on the other side of the map. Just dashing and slashing and getting kills. Wow, Tetsu and Nymeria are getting a battle. And Tetsu is actually in trouble with the Mako. His back is against it. I don't know if he's going to be able to get out of it. And I think... Did Nymeria he... get damage? Nymeria has to get damage. Yes. Nymeria yep. did. There's a clean kill using the circle to the advantage. Exactly. Same thing again. Just was in a bad position and couldn't get away from it. Uh, now Sophie's right in Kazma's crosshairs. Let's see. She might have the same problem. Uh, able to get out of it, but she is now wide wide up in the open. Uh, I don't know if she'll be able to get away. She able does. Able to get around the corner there, but Kazma's going to have the high ground. Yep, but I think Sophie will be fine and be able to heal up as long as she has the resources to do so. See, someone's down low. That is, uh, who's down low on Kazma there? Oh, as we see uh, Cody in some action here as an Ifrit is summoned. Oh, nice. All right. First time we've seen a summon today. So I think Kazma... I'm not sure who cast it, though. It must have been Sion that cast it. 
Oh, yeah, so Krovax gets into uh, a little bit of shot fire with... Who's Asma. right down below them? Let's see who that is. Cosma, yes. That is a uh, Fight Night rematch for many, many Fight Nights. <laughs> Uh, I think it, it is it. Yeah, it's either Cody or Cody. now has rotated up above Krovax, throws out a fireball, doesn't quite land it. Krovax is going to try to hop down and get on to Cro uh, Godges' level, but doesn't quite find them as he's going to stay up top and wait for the gas. We got five candidates right here, all next to each other. Yeah, Krovax is on the Dragoon, is just going to fly over to the other rooftop directly across and get the better position. Let's see how this looks like. Godges and Kazma might be uh, coming up on one another very shortly, as also Cody is in the mix as well. And legit and Sion, there's going to be a lot of action coming up right now. In this oh, Kazma tried to, tried to get up to the top and is hit by Ifrit on the way down at the last second. Didn't quite land the blade shift to get up to the top, and now Cody is in hot pursuit, but is able to land out a very nice fireball in return. He's going to continue to rotate, but Cody is trying to get in close with the warrior. Gets the dash, gets the attack, but Cosma is just so good with the gunplay there. Yep. Was it was it Cosma that got the kill, or was it someone else that got the kill in the distance? Um, As Nymeria takes like up Gwen Blading, I don't wow. think Cosma got that kill. Oh, wow. I think there was uh, so no. much happening. Cody was so dead on getting Cosma. That shooting came down from the and behind Nigeria. as Nymeria takes out another. Oh, just, wow, that was a nice play there by uh, by Nymeria. Cosma did get the kill. Okay, it did look like it. So, and he did put in that work. He did. There was a lot going on. There. Looks like Legit and Almond are going at it. Legit did get quite a few shots in. And then uh, Almond is in a very Cosma, rough position. Yeah, he's position. right between Cosma and Legit. As now Legit is going to rush in. Throws out a fireball. Doesn't quite land it. But Almond is on Warrior as well. Trying to try to rotate back to uh, Legit. Puts down the water. He's at half health now. It's a bad place to be uh, when yep, Legit gets in good. close. And there's the Thunder. But can't quite yeah, rotate away. Oh, does get the cure in time that the fireball is not wow. going to take them down. And then Zion comes in and steals the kill. And now Legit is and very Krovax. low. Krovax. And Krovax wow. is going to capitalize and take out Legit after all that fighting. High jump away as Cosmo goes down to Nymeria on the edge of the gas over on the other side. Now Sion has the high ground. I'm sorry, Cosmo took down Nymeria. I said that backwards. As Sion now is able to push down into Cosmo. Cosmo is in a really tough position now as he is in the middle of this action here. Sion on one side, Krovax on the other. We'll see who can come away with the victory out of these three. I would say these are three of the best gun players in North America right now. So I'm, I'm very happy to see them come down to this. See two Dragoon, I mean, sorry, a Dragoon and two Ninjas. Now I know Krovax used to use uh, Ninja a lot and switched over to the Dragoon on season three. So definitely seeing the difference in play styles there, being able to jump across the buildings. But that's not going to come into play here in this small, low circle. This is a real interesting final circle. This is going to be intense. It's going to be interesting to see if the uh, Dragon's Eerie or Ire comes down uh, into uh, into play here. Yeah. Being able to drain the MP and not be able to get the fireballs. But being stuck between Sion and Cosmo is very tough. But then when you have the high jump, you're able to rotate away like yeah. that. Does take some shots on the way, but is able to rotate around. Now has the advantage for the circle, I believe. And you can just see, again, not only why positioning is so important, but just how it keeps on changing. Uh, you see the gunfire go back and forth. Cosma does get a little bit of the advantage there. Krovax down about half health. A fireball Ooh, coming wow. in from Scion. And Krovax is just stuck between a rock and a hard place here again. He's able to yep. rotate around again, yep. but Cosma is just persistent. Gets the kills there, and now it is Scion versus Cosma. And you could see just how quickly the position or the advantage of the position can change, as Krovax did have it initially when he was able to fly away, but the tables quickly turned. See Scion taking some shots into the back of Cosma yeah. there. Yes, yeah, he is pushing Scion now. Let's see if that comes into play. And, ooh, and Sion goes 
invisible. Let's see what we can do here. Is he going to be able to get the high ground? Oh, uh, he is in a really bad position right there. Fireball missed though by Kazma. Now he, it almost seems like he has his back towards. Oh, the Mako has stopped. So now we're going to see. Yeah, the high ground though. Nice Ooh, fireball, fireball that... though. Oh, uh, but then that climb there, Cosmo is just able to pick them off. Exactly. Still, great game. Very, very good game there. That's, that final three, I mean, Krovac, Sion, Cosmo. If I had to pick a final three, I mean, it's hard to pick much more, much better. Uh, final